What's up, listening audience? Hoping all is well with you and yours. And I just want to briefly go into the Chris Rock, Will Smith situation. And let me just add that before I even spoke on this or thought about speaking on this, I just sat back for the last couple of days and just listened and observed all of the different various inputs that came from the streets all the way up to the pulpit. And what amazed me was the fact that you had cats like Steve Harvey saying that he would have slapped Chris Rock as well. Now, mind you, him, Denzel, remember Denzel went to Will Smith's aid, him and Medea, and I'm going to talk about them in a second too, because you Negroes think that Denzel Washington is Malcolm X. And everything that Denzel says or does, you take as being the gospel when most of the time it's ass backwards. So let me just say to you Negroes, once again, Denzel Washington is not a black leader and he's not Malcolm X. And he's damn sure not a leader of men. So you can dismiss that dude from the door. It, for whatever he's involved in, his word is not bond, his word is not good, and he's not standing on a solid foundation. For number one, if Denzel was Malcolm X, he would have got out of his goddamn last name of Washington, and he would have became Denzel X if he was really down with the program of Malcolm X. All right? And Malcolm X was not a Christian. He was a Muslim. And if Denzel Washington was following the path of Malcolm, he would have fucking denounced his slave master's religion as well as his slave master's last name. So to hell with Denzel Washington and to hell with Tyler Perry, who was running the damn homosexual brothel down there in the studio. So when them dudes took Will Smith into council, those were the council of the devils. Council of Devils. So, back to Steve Harvey who said he would have slapped uh, Chris Rock himself. Now, mind you, in the book that they claim belief in, the Bible, didn't Jesus teach to turn the other cheek? Didn't Jesus teach to turn the cheek when you're slapped by your brother? You see, what Chris Rock demonstrated was the teachings that they claim belief in and don't practice. Y'all all felt for that simp-ass, lying-ass speech that Will Smith gave talking about God and talking about wanting to do good while you've been sitting on hundreds of millions of dollars and what good have you done for Philly, Philadelphia, you want to do all this good, and yet the Bible in the book of James says that you claim to love God, whom you've never seen, but you hate your brother, who you see every day. Now, you went up there and slapped that man without provocation. It was no provocation. That man was doing what he does regularly, and you, in fact, laughed. But when you slapped him, he did the Christ thing, which was to turn the other cheek. And that's the proper turning of the cheek. You turn the other cheek when it's your brother. Now, had it been a white man that smacked him, he would have been fully in his right to engage. And vice versa. So had it been someone from another race, it would have been more understandable for him and more natural for him to go into combat but the ironic thing about what happened between two black brothers who are known as a being a part of a people who are known to be violent towards one another you had two elites among our people who actually acted civilized one of them acted 
took the, 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 the helm, took the lead in being the bigger figure. And because of that, Chris Rock is now being blessed. Now his tour, his tickets were just $46 before him taking the slap to the face. But now his tickets are $350 per ticket, minimum. So that's the power that he's demonstrated and the power that's now going to work in his behalf. Now a lot of you don't even know that Chris Rock went on a spiritual journey last year or so or during the pandemic and he took the spiritual vine drink referred to as ayahuasca which me and brother Malik went our, on our journey about a year and a half ago with ayahuasca as well and I have no doubt in my mind that that spirit vine that I referred to as God in a bottle had an effect and is having an effect on his conduct as a man. Now all of y'all was laughing at him. Oh Pookie. You know everybody refers to him as Pookie. And you got to remember that even in your scripture. It talks about God choosing the rejected and the despised. And I don't believe in a lot of that hoopla. But from a principle standpoint. It's like the Cinderella effect, where the universe takes you and turns you around, takes you from the bottom and raises you to the top, based on a humiliational type of event, where everybody's laughing at you. Do y'all remember the movie Carrie? When she went through a humiliation ritual, and they poured the blood on her head and everybody was laughing at her? That's the same type of ritual that Chris Rock went through. And y'all thinking that it's a humiliation ritual, but in reality, it's an exaltation ritual from a whole different perspective. And just like Carrie demonstrated her power during that time, this brother's going to rise into a form of power as well. And all those devils, Medea, Denzel, Will Smith and all those ones who are in the spirit of Holly Weird, they're going down in 2022, mark my word. Because they're hypocrites and they are in fact the real true devils. And if you look at the word Christ, isn't Chris in the word Christ? If you want to get technical... And if you go to the book of Corinthians, I believe it's the 10th chapter, Jesus is also referred to as the rock. So like your scripture says, you better be careful how you entertain strangers because you might be entertaining God or angels unaware. Now any and everybody who has taken ayahuasca, I don't care if it's Molly Cyrus, I don't care who it is, you are totally altered for the rest of your life, whether you know it or not. Because like I said, ayahuasca is technically God in a bottle. And when you drink that drink, you are going face to face with what they refer to as God because in that drink, you have what they call the God molecule, DMT. Look it up when you get a chance. And that brother partook of that drink. And I guarantee you that the root of him acting the way he's acting today, that's Chris Rock, that is, is based on his drinking of that marvelous, wonderful beverage, which I refer to as an elixir. So... That's all I got to say. That's my perspective on it. You know, everybody hates Chris. Everybody hates Chris. And they claim to love Christ. But Chris did everything that Christ teaches y'all to do. And he's the one that's made mockery of. He's the one looked at as a punk and a simp. When in reality, he did the principal thing. He took the high road and 
based on that, he's going to be successful. And like I said, all those lying demons who always talk about the devil is always busy. How Denzel going to tell him the devil always comes when you're about to, you know, reach your height of achievement when the devil had already came. He had already smacked Chris Rock when Denzel made the statement. Because like I said, Denzel is a devil himself. And he's not fucking Malcolm X. And none of them punk ass so-called Hollywood elites are a leader of ours. All they doing is taking you down the road to debauchery and homosexuality and confusion. Hopefully you got something from this brief message about Chris Rock and this fiasco going on around that event. Have a wonderful day. Peace.